it is. Hey. Come on over in the center. Got a scriptural pew, huh? You're never going to get people to do it. I know. You've been trying this, but you've been trying for 20 years. <laughs> hey, I'm closer to the mic than anybody, and I'm pretty loud, so maybe you'll take it. <laughs> well, good evening. This being the last Wednesday of the month, it's our singing night. And our focus this evening is going to be on unity and oneness. And I do want to thank everyone who has uh, committed to uh, e either read a scripture or lead a prayer or to lead a song tonight. Appreciate that very much. And as you can see from our board up here, uh, our first song will be Bind Us Together at 847. Brendan will have a scripture reading uh, immediately following uh, this hymn. And then uh, Brian Hedrick will lead us in a couple of more songs. So if everyone has it, let's sing. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with love. There is only one God. There is only one King. sing. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with love. Our first scripture reading will come from Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. You guys know the routine. I'm not good at leading the second, so got to help me out. So it's 8:42. We all know this one, so let's see. we can do this. 8:42. <coughs> A common love for each other, common gift to the Savior. A common bond. Holding us to the Lord, a common strength when we're weary, a common hope for tomorrow, a common joy on us of God's word. Turn over to page number one, all the way to the beginning. Page number one. I did not pick the song, but I'm going to lead the song, which is going to require ladies and guys to really pick it up. <laughs> Each day I do a golden deed. By helping those who are in need, my life on earth is born. 
heart of span, and so I'll do the best I can. Life's evening sun is seeking more a few more days, and I must go meet the deed that I have done. There will be no setting sun to be a child of God each day. My light must shine along the sing his prayer while ages roll and strive to have some troubled soul life's evening song is seeking low a few more days Go to meet the deed that I have done, where there will be no setting sun, the only light that will endure is one. That's kind and good and pure, and so for God I'll take my stand. Each day I'll lend a helping hand, life's evening sun. Is seeking low a few more days, and I must go to meet the deed that I have done, where there will be no setting sun. weary road I'll try to live some travelers love I'll try to turn the night to day and mirrors blue along the evening sun is seeking low a few more days and I must go to meet the deed that I have done where there setting sun song before our opening prayer will be number 59 break thou the bread of life song number 59 Break thou the bread of life, dear Lord, to me, as thou didst break the loss beside the sea, beyond the sacred page I see. Thanks for thee. 
to me, to me, as thou didst bless the breath by Galilee, then shall all bondage cease, all fetters fall, and I shall find my peace, my Our dear Lord in heaven, dear Father, as we are here tonight, very privileged and honored to be here, to be able to sing the praises, to hear your scriptures, to hear your word, to be able to uplift and edify each other. Dear Lord, as we go through this, we just pray that you help us to open our hearts and our minds, to be able to write your word on our heart and our minds, to be prepared to use it daily. Dear Lord, we are so thankful for this family we have, for the unity we have together. Dear Lord, we just know that under you we can have the oneness in life, that we can be a group, that we can be a family following you. Dear Lord, we pray that you be with those who are not here tonight. Give them the strength to overcome their illness or weakness, whichever it may be. Dear Lord, we pray that you be with the travelers. We have many, and we just pray that you'll be with all of them, see them to their destination safely. Dear Lord, we pray as we come closer to ending our year that you help us to realize where our faults and our failures were, where our shortcomings were, and overcome those. So as we enter into the new year, we can be stronger, have more knowledge, and be more prepared. We thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for us and all the many blessings he gives us. We just pray it in this prayer in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. The next scripture reading is from Matthew chapter 16, verses 15 through 18. Matthew 16, 15 through 18. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And also I say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Six twenty three will be our next hymn. Six two three. The church is one foundation. The church is one foundation is Jesus Christ our Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died. He lacked of every nation, yet one or all the earth. Her charter of salvation, one Lord, one faith, one birth. One holy name she blesses, partakes one holy food, and to one <coughs> with every grace endured. Though with a scornful wonder, <coughs> By schisms rent asunder, by heresies distressed, yet save 
Next scripture will be Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Ephesians 4, 1 through 6. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called in one hope of your call, calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Please turn to 250, number How sweet, how heavenly is the sight when those that love the Lord in one another's peace delight and so fulfill the word. When free from envy, scorn, and pride, our wishes are. Our next song this evening will be number 671. There's a royal banner. 671. It's good to see so many faces here tonight. Makes me happy. Makes God happy too, I'm sure. 671. There's a royal banner given for display to the soldiers of the king. As an ensign fair, we lift it up today, while our ransom ones we sing. Marching on, marching on, for Christ count everything but loss, and to the King of <clears throat> crown and sing, need the cross oh 
over land and sea, wherever men may dwell, make the glorious tidings known. Of the crimson banner, now the story tell, while the Lord shall claim his own. Marching on, marching on, for Christ can everything but lost, and King and King tore and sing, neat the banner of the cross, when the glory dawns, tis drawing very near, it is hastening day by day. Then before our King the foe shall disappear, and the cross the world shall sway. Marching on, marching on, for Christ can everything but lost, and to Christ Angry words, oh, they did never from the tongue and bridle slip. May the heart's best impulse ever change them if they sought the will. Love one another, as is the Savior, children Father's blessed command. Love one another, as saith the Savior. Children, obey the blessed command. Angry words are lightly spoken, bitterest thought are rashly stirred. Bright Please pray with me. Our Father in heaven, we come before your throne of mercy. And we pray for ourselves, for this congregation, that we might be one, that we might be united as you and your son are one, to preach and to teach and to be the congregation of your people that you want us to be. Help us, Father, to put you first, to be the congregation that will reach out to others with the gospel of Christ, to be the, the people that show Christ living in us and be a light that they might see Jesus in us. And Father, we pray for the world. We know that there are many places in the world today that does not have peace in the secular sense. There are wars raging, and we pray that peace might come. We pray, Father, that you'll bless 
our nation, that you'll help us as we go forward in the, to the new year to, to look to the future. And we pray for our leaders, that they might put away the evil that they intend to bring upon us, that they might see the need to come back to Christian principles and moral uprightness, that we might not be the Sodom and Gomorrah that it looks like we are headed for. We pray, Father, that you'll help us to be the, the, the people that show others the best way to live and the right way to live. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Reading from John chapter 17 and starting in verse 20. I do not ask for these only, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all, one, they all may be one, just as you, Father, are in me, all, and I in you, that they also might be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I and them, and you and me, and they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that you sent me and loved them even as you loved me. Uh, number 131, please turn to 131. <clears throat> face to face with Christ my Savior, face to face with will it be. Face to face. 
grace in all his glory. I shall see him by and by. If you want to mark your books for a little later on, the invitation song will be 736, number 736. Michael has the devotional tonight, and the song before that devotional will be number 329, In the Cross of Christ at Glory, 329. And if you're able, please stand as we sing. In the cross of Christ, the glory towing o'er the wrecks of time, all the light of sacred story gathers round the head sublime. When the woes of life overtake me, hopes deceive and fears annoy, never shall the cross for forsake me. Lo, it glows with peace and joy. When the sun of bliss is beaming, light and love on my way. From the cross, the radiant streaming adds new luster to the day. Bane and blessing, pain and pleasure by the cross of Sanctified peace is there that no no pleasure joys that through all time abide. Please be seated. Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. It's always a blessing to see you all here. Always a blessing to see that you all made it here safe in these hazardous driving conditions. You know, I was flipping through different news blogs, and they said that this is, Anchorage is one of the most dangerous places to drive right now, the way the streets are. They are so frozen that like they're having accidents all the time and people are getting stuck in places, it's crazy. So I'm glad that you all made it here and that you're all safe. This evening I wanna talk about uh, standing on the lines with oneness and unity, as you can tell, that's what our songs and our scriptures have been about. I wanna ask a question, why fellowship? Why fellowship? Why do we go to church? Why? Have you ever wondered why you go to church? Why you fellowship? All these things that we do in the church building on Sundays can be done without showing up here, right? We can sing at home. We can pray at home. We can study our Bible at home. We can even have communion at home, all in the comfort of our pajamas. Did you know they even have things that they can put on the church's website now so that way you can have the comfort of donating to your local congregation online without having to go into the building, not having to write a check or anything. 
and they give you the option to be able to check here if you want to pay the extra dollar thirty nine or something to pay the fee for us to be able to use this service on your transaction as Christians there is one thing that we know we cannot get at home that we can get in this building and that's encouragement we encourage one another as Christians when we come together God made us right Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 and 27 then God said let us make man in our image according to our likeness let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air and over the cattle over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth so God created man in his own image and the image of God he created him male and female he created them so if God created us that means he knows more about us than we know about ourselves right look at psalm 139 psalm 139 beginning in verse 1 139th psalm <clears throat> O lord you have searched me and known me you know my sitting down and my rising up you understand my thought afar off you comprehend my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways for there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You have hedged me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. God knows what we are thinking before we even know what we're thinking. God knows what we're going to say before we even say it. <clears throat> he knows that since he made us to need fellowship, there would need to be a place for us to have fellowship. Think about the tabernacle and the temple and then the synagogues. Always a place that God has assigned for worship for people to come together. Not stay at home, but come together. He set up a system for us to have relationships with people that we can help and people can help us in return. We live in a world where negative things happen all around us. And it is sometimes hard to be what we know we should be. Turn with me to Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10, <clears throat> beginning in verse 19. Hebrews chapter 10, beginning in verse 19. And we're going to be reading verses 19 through 25. Therefore, brethren... Having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much more as you see the day approaching. The Hebrew writer here is talking about people who are questioning whether or not they should stay in Christianity. Many of those reading this letter had been Jews at one point in time. They converted to a belief in Christ, but Jesus had not come back yet, and they were worried about it. Time had passed, and the Jewish faith was still strong. So they're wondering if they uh, had made the right decision to become Christians. So this book, the book of Hebrews, sets out to convince these good people that they have made the right decision and that they are on the right path. Let's read verses 24 and 25 again of Hebrews chapter 10 here. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. This passage tells us why we need to be around other Christians. The Hebrew writer even warns them not to neglect the times that they have together. Do not forsake the assembling of yourselves together, as is the habit of some. When we come together, we are encouraged as we exhort one another in verse 24 and verse 25 but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day the day the day when jesus comes back approaching have you ever had a bad day right terrible day days that you can't even describe because they were just so bad for you <clears throat> 
Have you ever felt frustrated because there were people who did things that you did not agree and there was really nothing that you could do about it? We have all had those days. I mean, this is something that's pretty common for us, right? You have bad days. There's people in the world that you can't control. You don't have that here. You come to worship, you have exhortation. You have people encouraging you and lifting you up to do love and good things. We come together to stir up love and good works, the Hebrew writer says. Let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works. You know, my wife and I were driving around the other day, and as it happens quite frequently here, especially when it's snowy, we got cut off. And, uh, you know, at first I was frustrated, and then I looked at my wife and I said, you know, how much better would this world be if everybody just had a little more consideration for everybody else? Just be considerate and love. And that's what we come here to get from each other consideration to the love that we can't get from the world. We can only get it from our brothers and sisters in Christ. As Christians, we come together to encourage one another. The system God put into place for us is the church. The church is not something that we go to. The church is what we are. We are the church. We need friendships. We need relationships. And we need fellowship with people who help us be better who help make us stronger in the Lord and his word. This evening, I charge you to encourage someone who is a member of our autonomous church. We're all one church, no matter what church uh, people go to, the Anchorage Church of Christ or the Valley Church of Christ. But I want you to think about one person in this autonomous congregation. And I want you to send them a text message or an email or even a card in the mail. And just let them know how much you appreciate something that they've done something they've done for the building, something they've done in your life for you, whatever it is, just take the time out of your busy day, five minutes, to let someone else know how much you appreciate them. Encourage them. Lift them up. Make them happy. And in that, you're going to be happy as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Try to understand why God made the church. Be an encourager like Benjamin or like Barnabas. As Christians, we come together to encourage one another. By way of invitation, if you have yet to devote your life to Christ and been added to his glorious church, the time is now. Why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Or if you're in need of prayers for the saints, we're here for you to pray with you and for you. Whatever your need, please come forward as we stand and sing.
Today's scripture reading will come from John 13, 34 through 35. John 13, 34 through 35. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Our last hymn will be, Blessed Be the Tie That Binds, 76, forgot the number myself, 76. We'll sing the first verse, the third verse, and then the last verse. And then Stephen will have our closing prayer, and then just a couple of announcements. Blessed be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love, the fellowship of kindred minds is like to that above. We share our mutual woes, our mutual burdens. And often for each other flows the sympathizing tear from sorrow, toil, and pain, and sin we shall be free and perfect love. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity that we can have fellowship in you and, and with each other here to lift each other up. We ask that we go throughout this week that we can remember all the things that you've done for us and that we can show others you through us. We ask you to be with us always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There's just <clears throat> two announcements here. Uh, one is that the potluck that would normally occur on the first Sunday of the month, we're going to postpone that to the second Sunday of the month, which would be January 8, 2023. Wow. And the men's and ladies' business meetings that we normally have right after our fellowship meal, that will be on that day as well. Just a reminder for those that appear in our bulletin, and <clears throat> there's one thing that I would like to say. It's a thank you. Hardly, I don't know about you folks, but when you talk with the Lord, you can't, I can't do so without expressing my thanks for all that he does for us. But there's a lot of people in this congregation that I'm thankful for. There are so many people that do things in the background that a lot of us don't realize are getting done, but they are. I'm thankful for those folks. I'm thankful for Stephen that spends so much time keeping the parking lot clear. And for all of the others who have spent so much time through this past year, <clears throat> excuse me, trying to bring our building uh, and facility up to a better condition. I'm thankful for all of those folks. And uh, as you go throughout your week and you make your resolutions for next year, I hope that you'll keep all of us in your prayers 
as we work together uh, to help this congregation grow. I don't have any other announcements, and so we are dismissed.